Africa. It's no doubt uh, Mombasa has become uh, one of my favorite travel destinations. Yeah. Since the establishment of the SGR, the Standard Gauge Railway in Kenya, yeah, I've been finding myself so often traveling to Mombasa. It's only $10 from Nairobi to Mombasa. So today I want to talk about the first impressions. I was there last weekend, so I want to talk about the first impression you get once you visit the coastal town of Kenya, Mombasa. One, unlike during pre-COVID times, the, the city here looks so deserted. It's around 4 a.m. and you can hardly find anyone on the streets. I can see a bicycle there coming. Then a few tuk tuks. Who noted the same? The city looks like a gothic temple. Should I say a gothic city? You know, the mindset the previous governor had is Mombasa to look like Santorin. Santorin is one of the cleanest towns in Europe, Greece. Yeah, it's a travel destination whereby everyone wishes to. To get there from the paintings you can see mombasa is white and blue the same way greece uh, santorin looks blue and white the other impression here is that the main means of transport in the coastal town is by tuk-tuk the three-wheel vehicle yeah, and they are so cheap you can't even compare to the taxi the cabs you have in nairobi or in other, in other cities. So I just took a tuk tuk to Mamangina Drive. This is a destination, destination whereby anyone can come here, relax for free. It's a park. At this point, you are able to watch the, the you are able to view the ocean, you are able to see the, uh, the ships passing, you are able to see the ferry. Yeah. So, and the people here are so welcoming. It's only in Mombasa whereby you can ask for, for direction. Then someone doesn't deceive you. Someone tells you the, the right direction. Or rather, they can, can even volunteer to take you from where you are to where you're heading to. Though I had a, a different experience this, this time. Yeah. You know, whenever someone uh, from Mombasa, I can say things are changing. Whenever someone approaches you and calls you uh, into a bar, I really don't, li don't like that title, into a bar. So I took a tuk tuk from Barclays, that is the Mombasa CBD. Uh, so, uh, in Barclays is somewhere next to Mombetari. So I was, we were heading to. Mamangina Drive, whereby I wanted to purchase this uh, potato, not potato crips, cassava crips. Yeah, so that is something unique, a street food which is not available in Nairobi. <laughs> Huh? I really love I don't know. They don't think even Nairobi knows about it. 
where the people in Nairobi know it. So I was there to Mamangina. Then uh, this guy approached me. Oh, what a Kasava the Mogo. Not Kasava the Mogo. What a Crips the Mogo. See you. I was like, yeah. So this guy brought me the Kasava um, Crips. What in the US you call it? Potato chips. Yeah. Thinking that. This guy would uh, sell to me a single, single, what, single packet at a cost of 50 bob. They were selling at 250. Yeah, simply because we went to a bar. The other impression is that during evening times, it mostly rained. This is due to humid from the ocean. Let us not forget that Mombasa has the best beaches in the world. We all know that during winter, almost all races from the world visit are Kenya. Kenya is the best traveling destination we, so far we have. The most secure destination we have in the world. And let us not forget the friends we receive at the beach. Yeah, it's only in Kenya whereby you can come without knowing anyone. Then all of a sudden, you you be having a let me call them a bunch of friends. Yeah, the hospitality we get there, it's the best. <laughs> Maybe you never knew this. I love Tarab. I love yeah, Bango shame. music. So if you know where we can go for a disco, reach out through my email.